the lota. Today, we're gonna be getting as many non-Muslims to clean themselves with the lota at the park. Are you ready? Let's begin. Do you know why we are at Target? I do not know. We are purchasing lotas because <laughs> Hassan, you and I are doing a lota challenge. Yeah. Do you know what that means? We use the bathroom a bunch of times <laughs> to see which lota is the best, I'm assuming. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing a lota yeah. and we are going to be getting non-Muslim people to use a lota for the very first time. Yeah. We have to get some peanut butter yeah. uh, and we have to get some water. We are going to be having people use peanut butter on their arms. So now one of the discussions we need to make a decision on is which peanut butter to get. I'm thinking we give people a selection. Mm. Some people might want creamy. Some yeah. people might want extra crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> so many peanut butters, there's a lot. So I'm gonna get the extra crunchy, super chunk natural. Here's the creamy. Okay, get the creamy. I wanna add like a dark one <laughs> just to like put on the table. <laughs> Do you want a dark chocolate? All right, so we need to get water, lota, toilet paper. And for every person who takes a challenge, Yeah we're gonna be giving them our latest book, Half of Faith. A lot of people might wonder, I mean, I've never heard of a lota before. The technical term is a watering can. You know, most people have one that is much smaller. I went to Hassan's house, this is the one that he uses. <laughs> I mean, have you noticed how expensive batteries have gotten recently? I haven't had to use them for any of my toys in a long time. <laughs> uh, we have to get toilet paper. This is not toilet paper. Post this would board. hurt. Now, Hassan, what kind of toilet paper is, you know, your jam? Like, do you have a... I'm not a big toilet paper user. Did yeah. you know every year, 30 million tons of toilet paper that are used in the world? Basically 30 million elephants of toilet paper. That is a lot of toilet paper. 99 cents. When the two cheapest grocery shoppers shop together. <laughs> Hassan, there's there's one more secret. Uh, you're gonna be paying for it. Let's, let's head out. Do you know how you're gonna pitch people? Because my approach is probably, hey, do you like using the bathroom? Get you all nice and dirty and see what cleans you the best. Uh, it would be nice to be out in the lake. I see. This whole thing is a little bit weird and it's a little bit uncomfortable, okay? Just talking about cleaning yourself is awkward. But when I was a kid and I'd be going to Northport Elementary School and I would take my little lota with me, sometimes I'd feel a little bit weird because I was the only person who was doing it. None of my friends would do it. It used to be even weirder when people are like, ew, dirty, you touch it, that's gross. There is this pressure to kind of fit in and it kind of feels weird to be doing something different. The point of this and the reason why this all matters to me is because lotas make sense, right? Hygiene makes sense. Cleaning yourself makes sense. And so even though it is a little bit awkward and a little bit funny, there's a good reason for it. Hello. Would you like to get a free book? No. Free book? We, we write these we children's write books. We write these books. Excuse me. We work for a children's book company and we'd like to give one to you if you'll join our Lota Challenge. Every month we write a brand new book and this month the topic is hygiene. Speaking of hygiene, there's two reasons why you should never drink from the toilet. Number one and number two. <laughs> so we're trying to teach kids the importance of hygiene, especially when you're using the bathroom. Wow. I guess I'll ask you, have you ever used the bathroom before? Yeah. Do you take showers? And did you use water or toilet paper to take that shower? Water. water. So one might wonder, why is it that we don't also use water when we use the bathroom? You wouldn't know this, but the average American, once in their life, gets an infection just because it didn't clean properly. We have a little challenge here to show the effectiveness of water. You take a little bit of peanut butter, put it on your forearm, uh -huh. and then you have two chances to wipe it away. The first time with just toilet paper, and the second time with toilet paper and water. And then you'll get to see, okay, well, which one's better? As a token of appreciation, we give you a free book. Let's see what happens. So now the, the big question, creamy, <laughs> uh, chunky, dark chocolate. As we want to be as realistic as possible. Here's a chunky one. First chunky today, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this we, is for all right, kids. very this good. Kids, yeah. By the way, do you know why they took the toilet paper and rolled it down the hill? It was trying to get to the bottom. Did you see what I said? Now I'll give you some toilet paper. Try to get as much off. All right. 
Oh, this man's a pro. He can't yeah. bottom. He's good. Bottom. He's good. <laughs> he's good. Well, okay, still a little left, and I got some other fingers. Okay, okay. Low, low. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that clean. So how how well did that work for you? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not I'm not judging. This is a good shot. All right, so that it didn't do the trick. Well, I'd probably go in for a second. You go. By the way, 30 million elephants. That's how much toilet paper we use on a yearly basis. So you wouldn't be okay walking away just with that dangling there. No. Uh oh. Yeah. All right, so this is this is after just the toilet paper. So now, if you were to walk away, do you feel totally clean? No. On his fingers too. Yeah, this is worse. This is oh. worse actually. There you go. What do you think? Pretty effective. Clean. I came off pretty quick. You literally feel the difference, right? Yeah. I mean, I prefer water over just wiping it. Do you feel clean now? Now I do. When you think about it, right? Like your entire life. Every single time you use the bathroom, yep. it's a chance to get an infection if you don't clean up. The results show it. This is just regular water, right? Just regular water. water. Yeah, so just what's, regular what's tap water. Lota is what we call this in Urdu. Most people call it a bidet, uh, but it helps promote cleanliness. And so, as a token of appreciation, we have a book. Have a faith. Oh, All right. Hey, thanks, thank guys. you. Hey, we'll see you later. You. Thank you. Yep, see you later. to my kid. Yeah. Just a last question for you. Did you guys hear about that movie? Um, Constipated? No. You didn't hear no. about it? Yeah, it's because uh, it never came out. Uh, <laughs> thanks. She's gonna go buy a bidet after. Uh, innovative that one. Some people converted to the bidet, other people may have converted to Islam, I don't know, we didn't ask. <laughs> um, but uh, we gave them a book, so you know, who knows? As a mom of a five-year-old and a two-year-old, cleanliness and keeping our spaces tidy, putting the toys away at the end of the day, these are some of the things that are part of our daily life. And that is one of the reasons we created this book, Half of Faith, which alludes to the hadith of our noble prophet, peace and blessings be on him, that cleanliness is half of faith. This book not only talks about keeping ourselves and our spaces tidy and neat, but it also talks about purity. And that's a little bit more abstract and difficult to explain to children at this age. Through our book, Alhamdulillah, we're able to not only talk about the external importance of cleanliness, but also this idea of internal purity. What? What's so funny? All right, so did anything um, surprise you today? Yeah. One thing that surprised me was actually how ineffective the toilet paper was. Like, I, I didn't think it'd be that ineffective. If we were to use a microscope, mm -hmm we would see that there is a bunch of, it's called fecal matter, that's still there, and every single piece of that is enough to get really sick. Yeah. So, when we educate people on, hey, this is why cleanliness matters, you don't have to be Muslim even to say, hey, that makes a bunch of sense. Yeah, I need to use the bathroom. Hassan, where are you going, man? I gotta that's use the bathroom. If you enjoyed that video, I invite you to join the Muslim Treehouse. Twice a week, we have live programs with over 5,000 Muslim kids from all across the world. The best part, you can pay whatever you want to join. Don't miss out. Go to norkids.com treehouse and join us.